MailJet tutorial how to use MailJet email marketing. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can get started with the MailJet email marketing platform. They have multiple different products such as email builders, A-B testing, email automation, as well as email API and automated sending schedules. So let's get into the full power of MailJet. Now, in terms of pricing, if we take a look at MailJet, you can get started for free with 6,000 emails per month and you can send 2,000 emails per day. Now, with this, you can add unlimited contacts as well as a advanced email editor and basic statistics of your email, such as how many people are viewing it, how many people are opening them up, reading through them, so on. Next up, you get the Essentials version starting at $15 per month, where you can send upwards of 15,000 included. Now, with this, you don't have any daily limits, so if you want, you can choose to send all 15,000 emails all in one day. But this is something to consider how large your audience is. If you have a very small audience starting out with your business, then you don't need to subscribe to a premium plan. However, with your business that it, as it grows or with your company, whatever you're using MailJet for, if it grows larger, you will have to upgrade to a premium plan, which starts at $25 per month, where you can have 15,000 emails included. However, you get more advanced tools like marketing automation, advanced statistics, A-B testing, 100 email previews per month, as well as 10 sub accounts, real-time collaboration, locked and linked section, as well as priority customer support in case you go through any hiccups with the MailJet platform. Now, this is for the 15,000. If you want to increase to 50,000 over here, you can get the essentials features at $35 a month and the premium version at $50 a month, so on and so forth. You can increase the number of emails that you want to send. Now, to get started with MailJet, all you have to do is click on Get Started on the top right over here. Once you do click on that, you will be led to your sign up page. Here, we are just going to accept the cookies and I'm going to sign up. So, you just have to enter some basic details like so. And it is recommended to use a business email. So, I'm going to go with a business email. The reason for that is I forgot my business email but i do recommend getting started with a business email which basically means a email that you have purchased now after that you will have to just enter some basic information so we're going to continue on just enter all of your information now once you have completed this you can just open up your mailbox over here now it's going to take a couple of seconds for your account to be completed and we are just going to wait for the sign up process and the best part about using this type of platform is that it allows you to test out the service because a lot of the times with email marketing tools you really need something that fits your needs and when you get a trial version you can really test out whether or not you have a good platform that is going to be easy to work with for you for your team and for your employees now, as you guys can see, this is going to be your dashboard on MailJet. Now, please note that when you sign up with your personal email address, you won't have your as your sender address because you can't send email marketing campaigns from personal emails or that you do need to have a business email. So although there are some applications that are still allowing you to do so because of Google's new policy, you cannot do it. So. You will have to enter a business email on MailJet to enable the sending features, but let's go over the basic platform. Now with this, you have a basic dashboard where you can see your real-time message events. We have queued, delivered, opened, clicked, unsubscribed, blocked, spam, hardbound, softbound, and retrying. So you will be able to basically see what stage your emails are in. And then you will also be able to see the most recent emails that you have sent on the bottom. Now, if I scroll to the top, you will see your campaign section where you can get started with building campaigns. Then you have templates. So you have form templates as well as email templates. Then you have automations where you can schedule your emails and you can also do automations like whenever someone signs up to your website, a welcome email is sent out. 
Then you have your contacts list as well as basic stats. Now, to get started with Mailjet, obviously before you start sending emails, you want to be able to have your contacts imported. So you can click on all contacts over here and start building lists. And you can even build categorical lists. So you guys can see we have, you know, only our own contact, but you can click on export list to, uh, you know, export this list. If you have a pre-existing one, you can go on ahead and go into your contact list and import it. So uh, first off, I'm going to click on create a contact list. And let's say I want to add a contact list of customers. I would just add it like so. Once I do that, you can choose a empty list. So you can insert them, uh, you know, it's going to be an empty list you can upload later to. If you want to insert manually, you can also do that. Or if you want to upload your pre-existing CSV or TXT file, that is probably one of the best options. If you have a pre-existing business, you definitely do have pre-email. So uh, you want to click on uh, whichever option applies. And then you can start adding your contacts like so. So whatever it might be. So let's say it's, so you can just click on continue over here. And this way you can just add your copy paste. Now you have multiple different field properties, obviously, but we're just going to continue on over here and you can certify your list. Click on create list over here. And just like that, a new list will be created. So now you can go into your contact list and view the list that you have. Now with Mailjet, you obviously will have things like um, form builders. That is pretty simple and easy to use. But a more important property is your contact properties. So you can click on contact properties over here. You have your uh, field. So you have country, first name, name, newsletter, subscription. You can add a new property. So whenever you are organizing your contact, like as we saw previously, when I was entering that name, it says property was not filled properly. So you can create your own properties as well. For example, let's say for us, it's very important to have the gender. You have gender and the data file would be a string. So it could be either female or male, like that. Now, if I go into our exclusion list, this is basically customers you might not want to send a uh, campaign to, but your basic transactional emails would be sent. This is often customers that choose to unsubscribe from your pre-existing email marketing campaigns. So all of those could be added into your exclusion list. So you're not, you know, blacklisted because you're constantly trying to send emails from people that have already unsubscribed. Now let's get into the main focus of emailing. So to get started, let's go into email templates over here. And once we go on email templates, we can click on create a new template. And there are some pre-existing ones you can choose from or some basic ones, which basically just have layouts that you can insert your own information in. But let's say we want to continue with this one and you're just going to select it and you will customize it to fit your needs. So whatever information you want, you can choose uh, the name for the template. So let's say it's going to be so let's say it's a sale announcement and I can just click on over here and a new template will be created. And now with a simple drag and drop block editor, I can begin designing it however I want. So I can click on any block. I can choose to delete it click on yes and then it would be deleted i can go into settings to change the overall style of the email the colors of the email as well as just go into design and you have multiple different options so if i want to add more text i can drag and drop that i can add videos images dividers social as well once you've finished your design just click on publish and save to gallery on the top right and you will add your subject and your name as well to uh, save this to your pre-existing templates. So in this way, you can get started with Mailjet and start your email marketing campaign. Once you have built your email, you can click on automations and click on my workflows and you can automate the process of sending emails. So you can click on create my first workflow and create your scenario. So you have welcome scenarios, property updates, date or anniversaries. So this can be a great way for you to send welcome emails to schedule sale emails and more. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.